Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a lavender field landscape. So let's do it! Okay, so to start I'm just going to go through all my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper that I've taped down with painter's tape. Tape. <laughs> I have my Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors in my palette. And I have my Princeton snap brushes. I have a size 16. Um, I have a size 6 and a size 4 on hand. And I have my water and my paper towel. Okay, so today's video we're going to be doing kind of like a out of focus lavender field painting. Now, I have not done this before, so this should be interesting, <laughs> but I'm going to try my best. So again, with um, the landscape paintings that I've been doing the past week, um, I've been using the wet on wet technique, um, which is when you wet the whole paper and then you apply paint, which gives a really nice soft kind of out of focus effect and the blends um, are really nice. So. We're going to start with the background and then once it dries, we're going to move on to the foreground. So in the background, I'm just going to create kind of like a sky and out of focus um, sprigs of lavender. So first I'm going to wet my whole brush and by brush, I mean paper. <laughs> like so, make sure it's not like soaking wet but make sure the whole paper is wet so you can get the blends everywhere. And I'm gonna start off, there's gonna be kind of like a sun behind. So I'm just gonna leave a nice part kind of white and I'm just gonna add a bit of yellow. So you're not actually seeing a sun, but you're getting that brightness that's gonna shine through. But I'm leaving that kind of white in the middle and then bit of yellow around and then I'm gonna make I'm gonna take some indigo I go around I wash my brush off and I'm just gonna kind of blend those together now with the wet on wet you should get a nice blend you shouldn't get like a line of yellow and then blue if that makes sense hold on sorry <clears throat> I want it darker towards the edges and the top of my painting and I don't really want to mix the yellow and blue together because then you're going to get kind of like a green. So I'm not really touching it yet. I'll touch it with a clean brush. And I'll go back in and add a bit more yellow. I just wanted to kind of place where it was going to be. I might actually even add a bit of purple in there. Kind of like a, almost like a sunset is going down. more blue, the indigo color. And just kind of let the watercolor spread and do its thing. I am going to add a bit more yellow after. I'm just cleaning my brush and just kind of moving these around to blend them together. I don't want it too dark. I'll take my yellow color just kind of tap it around wash off my brush and just gently move it now um what might happen so if you have a bunch of water on your brush like say you clean off your brush and you don't dry it, you might, and you put it right onto your paper, you might get this kind of like a, like water spreading out effect, which you might not want. So if that happens, just wipe off your brush and then just move it around a bit. Um, that just means you have a bit too much water. 
on your paper or on your brush when you did that, which is okay. I still do that. I still have those mistakes. Sorry, I keep reaching over. And then in the background down here, I'm gonna have purple. This is where the lavender fields are gonna be, but in the distance. So you're gonna kind of see purpley blue in the background. You'll see what I'm doing in just a second. Darker down here. I'm gonna get that indigo again. Let's move it around. And you know when you're doing wet on wet when you see that kind of blend that's happening when it kind of just like spreads out. If it doesn't spread out and, it, and you're going like this and it's a line, you know your paper's too wet. So in that case, just take your paper towel, mop it up really quickly, and then wet the paper and try again. Okay. So now we're going to do some lavender sprigs in the distance. Okay, so I'm gonna take my size six brush and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my purple, sorry, <clears throat> and because it's wet on wet, it's gonna be out of focus. So you're just gonna kinda create lightly, not a lot of paint, the shape of lavender in the background. So just like little lines going down like that. So kind of like one on top and then just like almost zigzags going down. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm quiet, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do maybe a navy one over here just cause it's in the distance. You don't really see the color. And you want it to be out of focus. <clears throat> I might even take some of my yellow because the reflection of the sun goes on to the lavender sprigs. gonna bring a little line down that would be in the middle Just darkening some of them up because they will start to fade as it dries. You don't want it too, too dark though. And again, getting some of that yellow in there on some of them. Because the sun is reflecting on them, just the ones that are close kind of to the sun. Like so, and I'm actually going to darken up some over here. They're still going to be out of focus because they're in the background, but they're darker because they're closer than those ones. So the ones that are further away are lighter. And the ones that are closer are darker.
And you see those are already starting to fade. I'm just gonna try and darken them up just a tad. Okay, now I'm gonna let it dry. No, actually, hold on. I'm gonna do another darker one over here. There, okay, now I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, so now it's fully dry, and you wanna make sure that it is fully dry before you do the next step, because if it is a little bit damp, you're gonna get um, kind of like a funky pattern. It's gonna try and um, spread out and blend, but it won't be able to fully, because it's not fully wet, so we'll just kind of make a weird pattern. So now we're gonna do the ones in the foreground. So I'm just gonna create my lavender color, and they're still gonna be a little bit dark because the sun is behind, right? But I'm going to make it kind of like a darky, uh, purpley blue using some indigo and purple. Okay. And you're just going to create the lavender sprigs in the foreground. And because it's going to be on dry, you're doing wet on dry, it's going to be sharp. So these ones look like they're faded because they're in the background, right? They're out of focus. So to create the lavender sprigs, you're just going to Kind of do some zigzag lines back and forth. And they don't all have to be going the same way. Um, the ones that are maybe closer to the ground might be a little bit darker. So, you know, you can do one that's like just indigo or like a dark blue or dark purple. Because the ones that are right by the sun are going to be the lighter ones. The ones that are further away, they're going to be darker. Because the sun isn't really getting to them as much as the other ones are. might even take a little bit of yellow Oops, to wash it off a bit better <laughs> and just maybe not I'm just gonna put some of the sun reflection on these but not working out the way I want to forget that okay just keep going <laughs> You make them going different ways. So these ones in the corner are gonna be darker, remember? The ones that are closer to the sun are just gonna be lighter. And to get a lighter wash, you just add a bit more water. So these ones are indigo and darker pigmented, so there's more paint. And the ones that are closer to the sun there are just lighter paint and lighter wash, right? So there's more water than there is paint on the brush.
blend that out a bit better. <clears throat> Just keep going until you think you're done. <clears throat> like that. And I think that looks pretty decent. So I'm gonna stop there. If you wanted to add more lavender in the, um, in the foreground, you can make some darker, shorter, whatever you like. Um, I think this looks good, so I'm going to stop there and I'm going to take off my tape. And there you go. You have a nice lavender field, kind of out of focus landscape thing. I hope you enjoy my professional terms there. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day guys, bye.